Welcome back to the 6 o'clock show. Ashling Larkin is on Kitchen Duty. Hello, Ashling. Good evening. Hello, what are, what are you, we're going, oh. tick, we're going TikToking. We are, it's a TikTok trend called pesto eggs. So I've, I've made it my own, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, because I couldn't just take something. There's a lady called Amy M. Wilchowski. She has 9 million views on TikTok for pesto eggs. And to be fair to the girl, it's a little piece of genius. So yeah. I'm actually going to start by putting on the eggs and I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I have made my own pesto here, which I'm going to show you how to make in a sec. So what you do, get your pan nice and hot. Hence me wearing the apron, by the way, because I came in a beautiful yes. white. You're wearing a white dress. dress tonight. Just to show off the Peter pan. And then pan. I realised I was making yeah. green pesto and frying eggs. So I'm wearing my beautiful six o'clock apron tonight. She'll whip it off so you can see the dress by the end. 30 <laughs> seconds to go. She'll I, have do, it I don't know if I will. I don't know if I can risk it, to be honest. So basically, you put your pesto on the pan. Yep and you crack in your eggs into the pesto. So obviously pesto has oil in it, so you don't need any extra oil in the pan. Okay. Just pop your eggs in, and we're gonna fry the eggs in the pesto. So you know me, I'm always talking about umami. Mm -hmm. yeah. Building in the depth of that savory, savory flavor, and this is umami bomb stuff. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna turn that heat up just a little bit more, and we're gonna let those cook away for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna come back to them. So, to make your pesto, right, pesto is really, really, easy to make yes pine nuts and parmesan cheese which i've already blitzed down right so i was kind of working away on those so i've blitzed down parmesan pine nuts and a clove of garlic yeah if you don't want to use pine nuts they can be quite expensive and um, they're very high in fat so a really good cheaty alternative is sunflower seeds oh, okay half the price less fat like a really good alternative and they really, really work, right? So you blend all that up and then I've put that into my pestle and mortar. You can obviously do it in a food processor, but I'm just doing it by hand tonight. And what I love to do is I'm using fresh basil, which is gorgeous, obviously, mm. so basil pesto. Yeah. But I love to use a couple of other ingredients in it. So if you want to stretch it out, you want to get a little bit more from it, I have baby kale and baby spinach, okay? okay. So if you're feeding the little ones at home, it's a lesser, like it's, it's not a strong hit of the basil basil flavor, yes. but you get the lovely, texture of the pesto and you have the really nice pesto on it so that's essentially like i love it as a pesto because it's really cheap it's effective and you're, you're getting a little bit more out of it which is really nice i've got my pan on here i'm going to do my sourdough bread next right so i've got my griddle pan on i've got lovely sourdough bread paint that with olive oil mm -hmm. and then you're going to pop that down and get that lovely griddled effect yeah. off the pan you can fry it you can toast it just as easy um, and it works really really nice but you've already then you've got your lovely proper real you know it's good bread this is brunch this is lovely brunchy yeah. kind yeah. of food um, so we're going to pop that down there my eggs are cooking away really nicely so the oil has come out of the pesto the eggs are kind of swimming a little bit in the oil with the pesto they're doing really really well and i'm going to show you how to make the herby whipped feta so we all know feta whipped. cheese whipped feta whipped, whipped. Re she really leaned on the WH there, she didn't did, she? Yeah, she had a family guy on it for us. <laughs> she was nearly whistling. That's it. <laughs> I like feta. Feta is really salty. It's a really salty cheese. Um, there was obviously a trend this year for baked feta. Baked, actually, yeah, baked feta was everywhere. This year. You baked your feta with tomatoes, makes this beautiful kind of pasta sauce. Yeah. Um, but this is sensational for the summer. It's gorgeous. Okay. So I've got 200 grams of feta in there. I have 50 grams of mayonnaise going in. I have 50 grams of sour cream going in and then loads of summery fresh herbs. So I have oregano, basil, coriander, a little bit of chives going in there. And then a tablespoon of olive oil goes in as well. Do you see why I'm wearing the apron? I do. We see there's now. a lot of oil and a lot of colour going on tonight. There's a lot of cream. It's a, it's a nice new white dress. I really did. I was about to say, she's keeping the dress on. She's Mind keeping it. She can't wreck it. I'm going to blitz this up, right? <laughs> so you whiz it all up. I won't do any more because I've one done. But you just blitz that. It's less than a minute. We'll do it. And you get this amazing, creamy, cool, herby. Oh, yeah. It is sensational on its own it's just absolutely gorgeous can you see the lovely char oh, yes yeah. so it's golden and it's charred and it's just there's just it's that combination of all of these ingredients together that makes that this make it all work sensational so i've got two done already i'm going to pop my whipped feta on top and again like i said the pesto eggs was the trend but the whipped feta this even with like tomatoes roast tomatoes what sort of feta is it whipped whipped thanks whipped. i'm almost singing it for you tonight whipped <laughs> Feels like there's a wind blowing <laughs> through here. I'm sorry, I need to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get you to talk about Indiana Jones as a whip. Whether people are whipped, it's the best. You say that the best way. Okay, I've turned. This, this feta cheese mix that you've made. Right? Yeah. If I put that in the fridge, it's gonna last for how long? You will easily get a week. 
Okay. Easily seal it, airtight tub, season it up, good bit of salt and pepper into it, and it lasts for ages. Like even on, you know, tuck crackers, little bits of cream crackers, the bread with the tomatoes, like there's so much in it. And the pesto, I mean, pesto is one of those ones that I tend to make every week. I'll try and make a batch of hummus and a batch of pesto. And yeah. it just, you know, if you need a quick dinner, lash on a bit of pasta, a bit of pasta salad for lunch, and it just, it works, but it's the umami. So you've got the salty from the feta, you've got the cool, creamy, Egg yolks are known for their umami so you've yeah. got that depth of like, you know, rich, fatty savouriness from them and it is just, it's just gorgeous. But it's the sort of thing that you would advocate for, being that, that you don't have to buy it, just a few minutes and you can oh, make your own for pesto. for pesto, 100%, because sometimes, depending on the one you buy in the supermarket, um, they can sometimes use like sunflower oil or there's, there's a margin, there's a profit margin kind of, you know, so you don't necessarily get the same quality of a product that you will get when you make your own and it's the freshness of all of the basil and it can be a little bit expensive with the basil but because you're using the baby kale I got sent a gorgeous box of wonky organic veg at the weekend and I just I had the kale and I had the spinach I was kind of thinking what am I going to do with this now and it just Throw like it in. into the pesto like Broke I said you get up. so much more pesto for a little bit less money and like look genuinely look how fast that was as a breakfast as a brunch as a lunch and I can't tell you I'm so excited for you guys to taste it it's gorgeous really really lovely Dinner, I'm absolutely doing that. That's a dinner as well, something yeah. that you can do tonight if you don't, you know. It that's really easy. is gorgeous. There you go. Ashling, thanks so much. Ashling, thank you so My much. Pleasure.